Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm here today with this week's Chamel Sketches Reimagined. Here is the sketch we are using today. I'm going to totally do something different with this sketch. So I I didn't just like reimagine this sketch. I feel like I almost um like re I don't know. <laughs> You'll see. So I'm not using three photos, I'm using four. And I'm going to be using the beautiful watercolor floral collection from Prima. This is the last set of pages with these really cute photos of my niece. And so I've used this watercolor floral collection again because it um, will match the face page in my album. Um, I have to tell you that of all of the collections I pulled out to use during the month of April, I think I pulled this one out the most. This one and the Nature Lover. I just absolutely prima knocked it out of the park with these two lines let me just say i mean they knocked it out of the park so i know that i want to kind of recreate the layers that are in the sketch so i'm going to go through some of these papers i pulled out i'm trying really hard um to use up the scraps as i go when i can and that will help me as i finish up this collection to not have so many scraps at the end. So I did go ahead and grab just the scraps of paper that I had, and I'm gonna use those to create these like layered strips that are in the sketch. But you can already tell I'm making my layered strips much larger than the sketch calls for because I knew that I was gonna kind of take that middle section of the sketch and make it bigger. So to allow me to do all four of my photos and not have to uh, crop them down too much. So this little brain strip had part of one of the cut aparts on it and it said just a girl and it was like the perfect size for me to add a little fishtail to the top and use it on my spread as a banner. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then there is a cut apart card that I knew I wanted to use. It was like a pink watercolor card and um, I think it said fiercely, fearlessly authentic, I think is what it said. Anyway, it was perfect for my niece. And so I wanted to go ahead and use just the sentiment. The card's three by four and I knew I didn't have room on my page for that. So I'm definitely gonna have to like cut it down a little bit as we work along this layout. Next up, I know I want to mount my photos, so I'm gonna go through the six by six paper pad, and the really fun thing about Prima six by six paper pad is because they keep their photo, their paper designs. There is only a handful of them. They don't do 20 some papers. So when they do a six by six paper pad, you get like four of each of the double sided papers, which is fabulous. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I know, yep, I'm just checking to make sure that that's gonna work, that the little banner that says Just a Girl is gonna fit really nice over my Fearlessly Authentic. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these pattern papers to three by four, and then I'm gonna trim my photos down just a bit. So I, they're three by four now, so I trimmed them to two and three quarters by three and three quarters, and that just gave me a really nice border around each of the photos. And then I still got that pretty pop of color around each of the photos without um, ending up with anything that is larger than three by four, because I knew if I put like a mat around the photo, leaving the photo at three by four, I was gonna end up with pictures that were just too big for my page. I am inking the edges of everything on this layout with Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. That gray color looks really, really nice because uh, we have the text and um, with the cool blues and the cool aquas, gray was just a good match for the tones. And as I build this layout, we're going to end up with a lot of things that are a bit tone on tone. And by inking up the edges, all the different elements and details on the page don't get lost. So now I'm going to go ahead and build this background. So this little paper with these watercolor flowers is beautiful. I must say I've been hoarding it. This is the first one I've cut into. I have a second one that I really, 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 you have no idea, guys. Really, really, really want to um, fussy cut. So we'll see how that goes. I have big plans for one of those sheets of paper. So I'm just going to decide how I want these layers to be. I want them staggered like they are in 
the sketch, but I also want to make sure that they, you can see all the different colors and that things aren't too the same. So like when I put that purple paper up against my floral, it just kind of blended in, which isn't what we want. We want things to have a bit of contrast because contrast is going to be something that we're going to have to work really hard at with these papers because a lot of them are the same tones and the same colors. And um, I want to make sure that you can see everything. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is by adding that ink and by making sure that the colors I put next to each other aren't too much the same. Once I have that background built now, I just need to go ahead and figure out where I am putting all of my pictures. So I'm going to loosely base where my pictures go on the sketch. But again, I have four, not three. My photos are rectangle, not square. And um, I think uh, looking at the scale of the sketch, I think that the photos in the sketch are meant to be quite a bit smaller, even than three by four, but uh, that's okay. We're going to do it. So this is the design I start with. And now I'm just I want to use this card and I want to use that banner. So next thing I need to do is get that card and that banner on my layout. It means I'm going to have to trim down the card, which totally fine. You can trim down your cards however you like. Um, and I am a big believer in cutting, cut up, <laughs> cutting pocket cards down so that they get used and not stored away in your stash. And this one just said the perfect thing. It was the right color. I love that little banner I created with the um with the uh the branding strip and it's going to go right there and tuck right under my photo which is actually about where the title is on the sketch okay now it's time to figure out some clusters i'm going to need more clusters than the sketch calls for but first I'm going to date stamp. So I've been trying to include this in my videos because I always say I date all my pictures. I date all my pages, but quite often that doesn't happen until after I've already done the video and everything because my, the dates for my photos are kept on my phone, which is what I also use to record my videos with. Um, but I took my phone down off the recorder today <laughs> off of the tripod I went ahead and looked the date up and then made sure that I stamped the date onto my page during my video um see what I do for you I love you guys okay so I'm now going to go through all these die cuts and I am being super picky about color so I just want the pink and the aqua I know I want some really big floral clusters in this um page I but I don't want them to be I want the photos to stand out right so this page if it was all like contrast really contrasting colors you would end up with something that looks very very busy but because I went through these die cuts ahead of time and I pulled out just the pinks and the aquas and then a couple of the green shades you're going to end up with something that has layers and layers and layers um, and you have to kind of look at the details to see all of the different elements. Um, but as a whole, the layout will look very cohesive and um, almost a little bit like monochromatic. Just a touch, just because there's going to end up being a lot of pink on this page and a lot of like pink on pink on pink. So it gives it... It keeps it from being too busy, keeping the colors to a very specific set of tones. So I don't want, I want to start these clusters out with the largest pink roses. These roses are so big and um, so, so bold. But when you tuck them up and then layer stuff on top of them, they just create this really um, lovely area for um to be able to put some more embellishments on so you can see all the embellishments i've pulled out we're not going to use them all we are going to use quite a few of them though and as you can see as i'm tucking these in some they're not necessary because of the tones because they're just the pink and the aqua they are not pulling away from the picture right those pictures are still standing out they are really complementing the picture. They're giving this layout that shabby, chic, um, 
kind of Victorian uh, look, which I personally love, love, love. That kind of overdone, a really girly, really layered look. And um, I personally kind of love, love, love that look. Uh, so I wanted to accomplish it on this layout. But at the same time, we don't want it to be, because we are using these kind of tone on tones, you know, the same tones are in the background or in the flowers, you end up with something that does not look um, like a big old mess. Let's put it that way. And I hope you know what I'm talking about when I say like that Victorian um, very, very kind of layered. And it's such a cool, if you've never um, heard of it before, go to Pinterest and look up Victorian patterns and you'll immediately see what I'm talking about. Uh, you get this like, and this these uh, watercolor florals are absolutely perfect to kind of create this look on a page. It's a really, really fun kind of style or aesthetic to um, play with. So some of the elements in my uh, clusters are going to get popped up with some foam tape. Just a couple, just for a little bit of, of dimension and design. And I'm just going to continue on here, just inking up these leaves and then tucking them in and layering, or flowers and leaves, tucking them in and layering them up. So I pulled out the... Um, stickers in this collection and I also pulled out the puffy stickers I'm just going to kind of uh, kind of audition and and look at the words that are phrases that are on these don't want to add too many but I do want to add a couple of things just just because I can uh that's what I'm going with and then I knew I wanted to do puffy stickers so the puffy stickers have an actual purpose I wanted something that Oh, it needed a little more dimension and a couple more things that kind of pop off the page and that aren't necessarily like a sticker. So there were a couple of really good puffy stickers on this kit, on this um, page that were going to just fit well. You can see how, what a difference that makes up with those little, just that little addition of that little bit of puffy stickers and foam tape. And that is where we are going to call this one done. It is the third Wednesday of April, so we do have a couple of guest designers this week. Please be sure to hop down into the description box where you can find everyone and their video links that are playing along with this sketch today. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Bye!